In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011, we'll take a look at licensing. This is the fourth in a four-part series, and today we'll focus on upgrades and downgrades. To get started, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the previous version of SBS and look at how this is different from the current version. So in SBS 2008, there were two separate editions, SBS 2008 Standard, which included all the core solutions, as well as Exchange, SharePoint, WSUS, and other applications. Then we had a completely separate product in SBS 2008 Premium, which was a superset of SBS 2008 Standard, and then included a second copy of Windows Server 2008 and Microsoft SQL Server. So when we look at the current version of SBS 2011, things are just a little bit different. We still have the same set of core solutions, including remote access, identity protection, backup, file and print sharing, all based on the Windows Server platform, and then including a simplified management interface. Then specifically for SBS 2011 standard, we add on to that Microsoft Exchange Server 2010, the SharePoint Foundation, as well as WSUS and other applications. We also have a new offering in SBS 2011 Essentials, which is designed specifically to work and to enable cloud-based services and cloud-based applications, including, for example, Microsoft's Exchange Online, the new Microsoft Office 365, SharePoint Online, and other web-enabled cloud applications. We also have a new product, which is the premium add-on. So whereas before with the SBS 2008 generation, the premium edition was a monolithic product that included everything in standard as well as everything that you now see in the new premium add-on. The premium add-on is a little different because it is additive and you can add it to either an SBS 2011 standard environment or an essentials environment. So a little bit different and it affects how we look at upgrades and downgrades. So for customers with software assurance, the upgrade path from SBS 2008 depends on which of the 2011 products you're interested in. For SBS 2011 Essentials, this is a brand new product and so there are no upgrade options. But for SBS 2011 Standard, there are upgrade options. And here we would see very straightforward, if you have SBS 2008 Standard, that server license is going to upgrade to SBS 2011 Standard. In a similar way, the Cal Suite for SBS 2008 upgrades to the SBS 2011 Cal Suite. Now, when we look at the premium add-on, if you have SBS 2008 Premium, that is going to upgrade to two pieces. It's going to first upgrade to SBS 2011 Standard, and then also the SBS 2011 Premium add-on. In the same way, the Cal Suite for SBS 2008 Premium is going to upgrade to the SBS 2011 Cal Suite and also the SBS 2011 Premium add-on Cal Suite. Next, when we take a look at downgrade options for SBS 2011, again, when we look at the Essentials product, because it's new, there are no downgrade options. When we look at SBS 2011 Standard, if you purchase through the OEM or retail channels, you have the right to downgrade to SBS 2008 Standard, but the customer needs to provide the media and product keys. If you purchase through volume licensing, then you also have the right to downgrade to SBS 2008 standard, and you can obtain the media and product keys from VLSC. When we look at the premium add-on, if you purchase through OEM or the retail channel, there are no downgrade rights. However, if you purchase through volume licensing, you have the right to downgrade to SQL Server 2008 Standard for Small Business and Windows Server 2008 Standard or Windows Server 2003 R2 Standard. And again, you can obtain the media and the keys from VLSE. So that's a quick look at upgrade and downgrade rights for Windows Small Business Server 2011. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us for future Learning Byte videos.